Hey guys, it's your boy Gary here. She's phony. She's thick. So I'm looking very two-faced right now. Mm. So as you can see by the title, we're doing a 2016 versus 2020 makeup look. And if you guys can see any differences, you're just gonna have to watch the video. And this video took so long to film, but it was so funny and I just loved doing it. Like you can really see the difference of how makeup has evolved throughout the years and how people are doing different tips. So I just wanted to let you guys know that the charity bundles are now live. How exciting. And I just wanted to just talk to you guys about some changes. So okay, for the 20 pound bag, you'll get five products and one will be luxury. Same as always. So 50 pound bags, you'll get a mixture of drugstore, and luxury and a hundred pound bag you'll get seven items and all of them will be luxury i decided to change it this year just because you know last year the, i felt like there was a real shortage of bags and they really ran out as quickly because i'm a one-man show they just ran out so quickly and I, and I also felt like i was putting way too much stuff into the hundred pound bags which was some of them were worth at least 500 pounds not that i don't not that i don't like giving stuff away but i just felt like some people were saying oh i didn't get a chance to get a bag and obviously they didn't get paid on time and i really just wanted everyone to have a bag i wanted everyone to have a fair chance these bags are still worth way more than you're paying for the 100 pound bags are definitely way in the 250 to 300 because i know i got some complaints last time about oh why is this in there but in the 100 pound bag some of them last year there was natasha denona huda Too Faced, um dior some of these bags are some one product is worth more than that what's in any other bag but that's not the point this is for a good cause please allow up to two weeks or even more just because you know i'm in england we're just going into brexit it's a bit mad and um, I'm, I'm a one-man show so please bear with me i will update you all on your shipping you can always dm me or email me or talk to me in the comments here and yes i'm super excited um again the charities will be announced in a few coming videos i'm still liaising with what i'm going to give it to but i'm just really excited to have these bundles back up and running again the website will be down below and it will explain everything in detail down there i will try and add my lashes to some of the 100 bag bundles but honestly i don't even have any lashes for myself these are the last ones i have on because of brexit we're having delivery issues against all our retailers but again i'll try and do my best and add everything but you guys know these bags are going to be juicy so again thank you my thank you guys for obviously watching the video carry on watching it and please <laughs> You know, just help a brother out. Comment down below. Hope you liked the video. I'll see you soon. Okay, so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you are. It's at the plastic boy on everything. And make sure you subscribe to this channel because you know you're already here. Um, I did this on Instagram and it's a trend. I'm not sure who created it. I think this blogger called Lenicole. Was that how you pronounce the name? I'm created it. I'm not sure. I don't want to say the wrong name, but I saw her do it and I was like, let me just try it because it looks cute. And not many black people were doing it. It was only just, you know. So child, so I thought, let me just do it as a YouTube video because I think it's such an interesting video just to see how the way makeup has changed. I've already done my skincare, I've already done my prep. I'm trying to do primer first, I should try to do my brows. I'm trying to think, uh, let's do primer just so we've done that, then we can do our brows. Okay, so on, okay, oh, this is going to be the 2021 20, side, which is my right, and the left side is going to be my 20... 16 side so for the 2016 side i would always go in with like a matte prime primer this is a smashbox oil of control what i want to say is if you still do your makeup like the 2016 side there's nothing wrong with that it's just a trend like there's nothing wrong with still doing your, your eyebrows in a certain way there's nothing still wrong with doing your skin in a certain way there's nothing wrong still with full coverage foundation there's nothing wrong with anything like makeup is makeup it washes off if you still do your makeup in a certain way then you still do it in a certain way like it's just makeup is for everyone and like it's, a, it's not a one size fits all do you know what i mean so just take this as you mean it's okay i'm gonna use a Too Faced. sorry i'm not saying what i'm using plump and prime i've been loving this at the moment someone actually asked me to use this and that since i've been using it it's just been so flipping cute so this is more of like a hydrating plumping primer and i'll probably just use it everywhere it's kind of got like skincare slash primer benefits so i'm gonna prep my brows because i always do my brows first well 2016 and 2021 and um, i'm gonna take if you haven't used this this is the got to be by um this is um got to be glued by Charles Swatch Scoff, and that's how you say it. But I've been using this recently, and I use this on my 2021 side, and I use this to prep my brows. I don't really use this in videos as much because it does get a bit messy. So what I normally do, you can use anything, and a lot of people use eyebrow glue these days, but this just to make sure my brows are just kind of laid into place. It does leave a residue, that's why it's best to do this before foundation. But guys, honestly, if you want something that's gonna hold your brows and give them that laminated look, this is like only like four pounds or I think in US it's like six or to eight dollars, but it's it's really affordable. So I just comb that in. The best thing to do, comb it in, let it dry, 
and then comb it up again honestly it snatches your brows I need a new spoolie by the way, I'm using this old Anastasia one. But this brow, I'm not gonna use anything, I'm just gonna brush it up because back then we weren't really doing the much of our brows. So I'm just gonna brush this one up and literally leave it for natural. So as you can see there, I'm gonna press that down on my 2021 side and we get laminated and we just get kind of like normal kind of brow. Okay, so let's do our brows. We're gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat and if use this, it's the only pencil I can find. Pan looks really cute. We're gonna do the 2016 one first because I think those are the most interesting. We got you. <laughs> and I'm gonna take my little Miss Piggy mirror. How you doing? I'm literally just gonna do my brows the way I used to do it. So if you guys watch me from 2016 or probably later, you guys would know I loved a full on Instagram brow. So, oh, this brow pencil is actually really freaking nice. Okay, Charlotte. I actually received this in PR maybe like three weeks ago. Do you guys see me? I haven't had a chance to try it, but it's actually really smooth. But like, I think this is like the year of complexion and brows because everyone's bringing out a new foundation. As you guys would have seen from my latest video on the Sunday, did a double upload. If you guys got that, let me know. But obviously, I think double uploading on a Sunday is a bit. Not too much, but I think because I was excited to like release the video that I just done that. But so someone actually came for me on that video, being like, um, "Well, I don't think he came for me because he always comments on my stuff, and he's actually really nice." But he was just like, "Oh, um, if the foundation shade is that far off, please don't do the video." And I was actually like, "Oh my god, what would you say that like it wasn't that? It was dark, but like." I, at least if at least I showed how to finesse a dark foundation because some people will be buying dark foundations and, and obviously in the UK we can't return foundations so what did you expect me to do but child anyway it's just his opinion and I know he he, he, he means well but child oh this brow pencil is actually really flipping dark but it's fine we're gonna put concealer on it <laughs> Okay, with this side, you guys know the drill. You know I love a brow pen. Um, I love the glossier brow flick in black and brown. I kind of just got in between them and then I'm gonna just do brow. <laughs> I might speak. Brow strokes. I really need concentration for this though because my hands are a bit shaky. I've been having bear coffee. So I'll just do brow strokes like that. It kind of looks a bit more natural even though they don't look as natural when I do it. But it's kind of more of like a fluffier brow which is obviously the trend. Everyone's now doing a much... You just see it's a bit more liney. I'm gonna go into brown because black, the glossy um, brow flicks are amazing, but the black one is so pigmented, so I'm kinda going between brown and black. It's time to carve out the brows. Oh, I love the smell of this concealer. It's Too Faced Chestnut. I, I used to actually love using this to carve out the brows, but actually it's one of those concealers I literally forgot about. Um, let me guys know if you want me to do a video of the makeup I forgot about or makeup we forgot about like video. I think it'll be such a cool video because I've cleaned up my makeup room the other day and there was just some makeup I was like, wow, I actually forgot this even existed. Let me just carve this out. We used to, I think chestnut's a bit light for me. If you guys would have noticed over the past year, I've definitely calmed down with the under under brow highlight. I should not look that bad, looks cute. Yes, a thousand percent. I actually thought it was recording. I'm going in with the NARS Complete Matte Tinted. This is in the shade Cafe. This shade is much closer to my skin tone, which I could go a shade lighter, but I just kind of like the consistency of using a cream more than a liquid because I feel like this is just a bit more easier, easier to control because it's not like that liquidy. Nice, as you can see, it's much more closer. This has got more of like an orangey tone, which you could definitely still go for like a golden tone, but I think I'm me just because sometimes when I get quite tanned, I'll, the yellow concealers can look very, very, just a bit stark on me. So I was kind of like, time to tone it It was, it was a the color, color correction for me. me. So I'm gonna use this Dragon Beauty one. I used to color correct. So this is a 2016 side, like crazy. Like, does it, I actually still do color correct like this actually. It kind of depends on my mood and depends on what type of pigmentation I have. But I'm gonna use the same color corrector because child, who's got time to be changing color correctors? Now it's probably just go like this, this, and kind of leave it like that. But child, there's, there's no right or blood clot wrong, to be honest. Like, as long as we're getting rid of the darkness, then it's fine. So I'll just blend that out. But the thing is, I think I used to use more of like a quite warm orange kind of color correct time because um, I used so much. It used to turn my foundation quite warm. So that definitely wasn't the vibe. So a color correct isn't much of a big thing. I feel like I don't really have to color correct that much anyway because I've been using the self tanner drops. I've actually been using this new brand, which I still love Tanner Locks, but I've just been exploring because I'm like, what else is out there? <laughs> I've literally got it on today. I've literally got these bronze drops on, but it's actually so bomb. Let me guys know if you want me to do like another video. Or maybe I should do like a self tan video and use like, actually, how would that work? Because 
once the tan is on. <laughs> Maybe I could rate them, that would be quite a good video. So next we're gonna go in with the hoodie and this is the Faux Filter Luminous Foundation. Even though it says luminous, I do still find this foundation quite matte and it's super full coverage. You guys know 2016 was a year of full coverage matte period. <laughs> This is in the shade Hot Fudge. This is like a new shade I have because I feel like I'm no longer a mocker in her foundation, which it, it does come up a bit light on me. I think because it's got kind of a golden undertone. So I'm going to use this and we're going to go, we're just going to go in. Ooh, this foundation is really nice though. And I don't think there's anything wrong with full coverage. Like I still go in between looking, you know, fresh with like a tint, but I still love my full coverage. I think that's because I'm at home. I'm not really going anywhere. I just sometimes I feel like full coverage is just, there's just no need for it because I'm not really wearing full coverage at home and never, you guys I don't think, but I do love putting full coverage on sometimes because I'm like, wow, I actually feel like that bitch. Now I'm going to pass on that one. <laughs> I actually haven't used this colour recently, but wow, it looks beautiful. It, I actually, now I get using this colour, I see that this actually blends out way better than her older formula, because the other formula was giving me very, it was just giving me something else, it was very stiff, but I didn't might have a problem with it, it's just... It was giving me a very, that I forgot to put highlight under my foundation. This is why I took this baby out. Do you remember highlight under foundation in 2016? It was crazy. Oh, hold on, let me see if I can put some on top. We're gonna be extra and put it on top because that's what the Instagram girls well, we used to do. The Rare Beauty one, this is in the shade Reflect. These are the liquid luminizers. Ooh, this is actually, actually really fucking nice, okay. Is it taking off my foundation now? Is it taking off the foundation? And for the 2021 size, we're gonna go a bit extra because you guys know, Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. She's added more shades, this is number eight. I love this by itself. If you guys want like a luminous finish, you can definitely use this. It's just, she's just that girl. Like, I love it. It's kind of like a fan. People say it's a primer, it's more of like a skin prep, but for me, it, it kind of gives coverage. Well, it does give coverage, so. This is just beautiful. I think Charlotte Tilbury definitely killed the game like recently. Like, especially when she came up with the bronzer, she's extended the shades. She kind of reminds me of Huda, but more of like a British version. It's Charlotte Tilbury British, right? But she's just, she's giving people what people want. And I think that's a really good factor to take. Like Huda improved the foundation formula. I just feel like this is such a nice kind of feeling. In 2021, we're doing more of like a dewy kind of finish. I'm trying to think what, I'm trying to, try, even though I use, I'm gonna use the Fenty again because I actually love this and I feel like, and this is gonna be my everyday foundation for now. Even though this shade is a bit dark, I'm gonna use it anyway because I just really like it. I'm really gonna use, hold on, I'm gonna put a bit on now. And then it is really dark though, but it's fine. I'm gonna use concealer just to, oh, guys. This Fenty foundation is incredible. Like, that was just one little drop of you guys seen that. Like, look at the coverage. Actually, the colors look quite similar. I don't mind going darker on my foundation anyway because I'm gonna go light tight. This balances it out. So, I actually like I like me looking darker. Like, why would why would we look like Casper the Ghost? Boom! Do you guys see a difference yet? 2016, 2021. As you guys can see, this side looks more fuller, but nothing wrong with it. Okay, so for, for concealer, I would normally use like something a bit more warm before putting with, with going with highlighter on each side anyway. So. Nothing has really changed there. I feel like even though I color correct, sometimes if I go in with a highlighter, it can end up looking quite gray. I'm not sure why it just happens to me. It depends, because I feel like I like to go quite light, so I need to put something down that the high, that, um, highlight can really just blend into. So I'm just gonna use this on both eyes because I've been using this concealer for quite some, oh, I need to get a new one, you know? I'm gonna order a new one. Can you see it just blends everything together, but this is a tiny bit lighter. I am so stupid. Here's me thinking something's not right. I forgot to do this. Oh my God. Let's do 2016 concealer, Too Faced Chestnut. If you weren't using this in 2016, where were you sis? Because this concealer was just a moment and it's all about the technique. So we, I used to put on a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, I love the smell of this. Does that mean I'm a crackhead? Yeah. So we used to put on loads. Like I used to just do this. I'm not even being extra, but we actually did used to do that. And then I'm gonna put some here. This concealer takes a while to dry, which I'm not mad at. So that's Too Faced on the 2016 side. And on this side, I haven't even chose what concealer to use, have I? Oh, so I'm gonna take the Bare Minerals Concealer, which I've been loving. This is the new liquid mineral one. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the trick what everyone's been doing, which is kind of like, just taking it in the inner corner, going like that, going like 
I like this, 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 this. I'm going to up to the nose. And then I will go in with my Makeup Forever. This is in 4.5. Again, a light concealer. This is a 2021 side. Dot like that. And then this side, the Makeup Forever side, dries quite quickly. But there's two face sides. You can actually take a fan. Can't find mine. But you can still it dry because that's what's going to give you maximum coverage. So I'm going to blend the 2016 side first, which is the Too Faced. And we're actually just going to take a blender. This is a damp blender. And then we're just going to blend this concealer out. Again, if you do consider so like this, there's nothing wrong with it. I feel like with the TikTok kind of like trend with the concealer kind of hack, you, all, you kind of blend your concealer out like this anyway. The only difference is that you cut out this bit, but when you end up blending, you kind of take it around anyway. It's just a bit more precise. Obviously, when you blend it a bit more down, you're kind of bringing a bit more brightness to the face, which there's actually nothing wrong with. So this, I don't want you guys to be like, oh my God, I'm gonna do my makeup that, like backwards. No, like you still do your makeup like this. Like, do you, boo? One thing I will say, the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, she's stunning. She just, look how she just blends out like bad, bad bitch she is. Anyway, also, I know this isn't Sit and Slay, but this whole Sweetie Quavo situation with her in the lift, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Google it now, comment down below, let me guys know what you think, because Sweetie Quavo, everyone's saying a couple goals. Child, anyway, I'm gonna use a brush, which I would never do in 2016. This is the Katie Jane Hughes number eight Spectrum brush. These are sold out, but such a banging set. And I would normally just kind of pat and as well as blend that down. I'm gonna go there so I can get to the corner of my eye. And then I would kind of do it strategically. And then I'd probably just fan that out. It's kind of like a face lift technique as you can see you kind of bring it up there just so when you do your eyeshadow and stuff at least you know that everything's going to be a bit dragged out but i feel like technique's okay i kind of bring it down anyway because you can't be especially if you've got pigmentation you can't be skipping out one part of the eye and then i'll kind of just um press that in as well it's contour time so blend that both concealers not so if you can see so that's the 2016 side and this is the 2021 side. As you can see, it's a bit more lifted, but you'll probably see it more when I contour. So I'm gonna take this Oma Beauty Stick Contour. Love this. I'm actually, oh, look at, oh, I need to get a new one. And I'm just gonna do my contour as I used to do. So I used to do it quite low. I used to go like that and go like that. This is not on my lip. And then I'll we'll probably take some on the nose like that and then with the 2021 contour i'm going to take this mark jacobs um extra sharp coffee concealer and then we're just going to go much higher we're not going to just do too much as you can see by the tone um they're not that dark so we have the 2021 and we have the 2016 i'm getting i keep getting confused i keep wanting to say 2022 <laughs> child what, what in the future, future is, going is going on, on? so with the darker contour i'm going to take just a sponge and then start blending it out. I actually love that on my beauty contour stick. Like, even though it does get a tiny bit emollient, I just love the way it blends in so easily. I'm just gonna blend this out using the same foundation brush. Again, I'm keeping that contour quite high because we want our cheekbone to sit really nicely. I'm just gonna blend it out, and this was on the 20, 21 side, which is the side. And then it's gonna blend it out again. As you can see, it's not as dark, but it, on it again, it's just a tiny bit more higher. So the 2016 side, we love to bake. I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite powders, which I still use. And this is the Huda Beauty Blondie Powder. I used to use Knuffle, but I can't find it anywhere. And then we're just gonna put loads of powder on, because that's what we really used to do in 2016, which there's a little bit more putting loads of powder on. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in, like in. Like I feel like if I'm on holiday and I really want a full beat, I'll still use a lot of powder. But if not, I kind of go in between. It depends on how I really want my concealer to look, but we're gonna just use loads. We're actually gonna just bake a tiny bit. That's because we loved baking in 2016. With the 2021 side, we kind of just use a pressed powder first. This is the Makeup Forever Powder, Matte Velvet Skin Powder. I speak about this so much. And then we kind of like press it in and what this does is with like you can still bake and stuff but it kind of just sets the tone because when you bake and your concealer is quite wet i do find that sometimes the powder just i don't know it clings to wet patches so it can look very mad and sometimes i remember when i used to bake and i didn't use setting spray 
I looked like a flipping hazelnut. I was so dry and so like cakey. Yeah, I love powder and I think with the pressed powder, you can really just carve where you're gonna put your bake and it just kind of just gives it more of like a moment. So again, for the 20, um, 21 side, I'm gonna take the same powder. I'm just gonna like dab it on there. I'm not gonna bake, we're just gonna press like so. We're not gonna leave any powder anywhere. To be honest, I still bake, but it does for a little amount of time. I don't, I feel like I know now, baking is just not for me for certain days because it makes my eyes look really like, I don't know how to, what the words to explain it is, but I can just see when I go close to in pictures, it makes me look really aged. But I just feel like sometimes baking is just needed for like, if you're going to the club and you know, it's gonna be photography or you know, some height is gonna be there, but yeah. Okay, I can't find a studio fix powder, but I'm actually gonna use this L'Oreal Infallible powder. Um, this is a trending thing on TikTok. I actually bought this one to use on my face, but it's actually a bit too dark for me. This is in the shade Deep Amber. And I feel like in 2016, bronzers, they just weren't around for deep skin. So I think the only bronzer that was around was a CoverGirl one, which I believe is discontinued. But look, this gives coverage. So let's just see. And um, we used to go really, really, hold on, is this gonna work as a contour? Yes. So what I used to do is just go down like that. This powder is beautiful, by the way. I wish I don't need to. <laughs> I'm gonna um, just blend it down. <clears throat> and just, you know, contour. I used to contour quite low. I didn't really, but I'm, I'm very tempted to like use my old tricks on this side and this side. So it's really hard not to. So you choose to go like that and then hope for the best. So you can see there's a bit of depth. So for this side, I don't really use a contour, I kind of use bronzer. So I'm gonna use, these are new from Colored Rain, black on brown, Colored Rain, kill it. And this is in the shade of Mucka Queen. I'm literally just gonna blend that. It's my first time using it, by the way. Oh my God. Oh, that is so pigmented. Beautiful bronzer though, but wow, that's pigmented. So let's go into Naughty Spice. And then we're gonna just blend that up. I can't believe how, it didn't look that dark in the <laughs> I did look that dark in the pan. And I'm just gonna blend that up there. But we're gonna take our bronze and just flick it up to keep it high. Yeah, the shade is a bit better. Wow, the other one was just giving us a moment. Okay, on the 2016 side, I'm gonna just take a lot of powder, as I normally used to do, and then go under there. I need that to bake. It's 2016, ah! On the 2021 side, we're just gonna take our same Smith 103 brush, but also just go up just so we can really just follow. Obviously, this is different to everyone's face shape, but I just go up just so it can give us that snatch. I don't want to bake with this also because I feel like when you leave the jaw to bake too much, it's hard to blend out, then you end up looking very two tone, you know. So, as you can see, I'm leaving that to bake down there for a while. I was trying to think about how to still have an Evan K all nighter, um, but I do. That has, I think it's not. I think this is a new one. So this is an ultra matte. I'm gonna use this on the 2016 side. We love a matte setting spray. And on the right side of this one, I'm gonna use setting spray is over matte anyway. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury. This is my favorite setting spray. Like this is like all nighter, but on crack. Like it's so flipping good. Like it's non melting, non fading. Honestly, like glue. Obviously. Ooh. And it just feels refreshing. Where's my fan? I can't find that fan anywhere. Can you guys tell a difference yet? So this is the 2016. Still looks flawless, still looks snatched. And we have the 2021. Bit higher, still snatched, but I guess this side looks a bit more softer and this side is like, BAM! BAM! That was fucking scary. My heart's going pitter patter, pitter patter. I feel sick like I could throw up. Okay, so we're gonna do eyes. Are we doing eyes? Yeah, we're doing eyes. So I'm trying to think how to do this. Like I'm going to do warm and you know, if you guys think that's what I'm going to do on this side, okay, warm and soft glam. Cause obviously I feel like in 2016, it's all about the warm tones. No one was, I feel like no, no one really bangs cool tones like that. I'm not sure if it's just me. So I'm going to use a P. Louise base. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use number three. This is a new one, so I'm not sure how this is gonna come out. Let me put some on my hand before it goes in my blood color eye, because knowing me, I'm just gonna end up putting it everywhere. And I'm gonna use her brush. This is from the P. 
T. Louise's cancel collection. I should have sent me some of it actually. It was um 50% of all bases, so we're gonna put some onto the eye. I feel like 2016 was definitely the year of eye bases. Like, okay, see, oh, my eyes calm down. Like, you saw how um, red my eye was, it's because I wasn't getting that much sleep. So, anyway, we're just gonna take that up. Okay, we're gonna do one eye first. This is a 2016 side. We're gonna start with the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. When it comes to palettes, Natasha Denona is just that bitch. I'm sorry. Her palette formula is amazing. I'm gonna go in with. Uh, Jasper, which is this orange shade, but um, I'm not going to concentrate on the shades too much I'm just going to concentrate on the eye look because this isn't like a Natasha Denona eye shadow palette tutorial But if you want me to do, use this palette in another video, look at this look how pigmented it is like honestly Sis, then I'm just gonna take this dark color And then we're gonna go straight in like that even though this color Arrangement is very pinky ready Everyone was kind of using these kind of sunset tones in 2016. Like, let's not lie, everyone kind of banged. We loved a super orange crease, a super like kind of this warm eye. There's nothing wrong with this, but this palette is so nice. I did a little cut crease, more like cut crease in 2016. It was just, it was just key. So I'm gonna take this pink shade and lay it down. I think this is something similar to the one in my TikTok. I'll just use the Peel Louise base again. I'm literally just stamping this down. Okay, if I almost finish this eye, I really like it. It's obviously like, you know, a bit warm, pinky. I feel like, <laughs> this is the eye I always kind of do. Anyway, line out using Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay, so I moved my camera a bit up because I felt like my chair was too low when I got up, I was a bit high. Let me know if you like it a bit lower or a bit higher. Let me know in the comments down below. So I've done this eye. As you can see, it's quite dramatic, very colorful. Um, it's still warm, but it's definitely more on like the neon pink kind of side. Actually, this one is actually really cute, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna do this side. I'm actually gonna use, I was gonna use a concealer, but I'm gonna use P. Louise base again because she actually sent me a few. This is in number six. I actually used to, I didn't really used to rock with these because I thought they were really hard to use, but now I'm kind of like mastering them and I know how to really work them. I'm gonna go in with six. I'm just gonna put that on the eye also. Six is a tiny bit more of like a NW40. So it's not as bright, so you can really just kind of blend it into the skin. And then I'm just patting this on. So for this, I'm gonna do more of a soft glam, so it's not gonna be as colorful as this. So as you know, in 2020, I just feel like everyone's kind of straying away from like, you, not everyone, but like most people don't really do as much bold looks anymore. Like if you look at like some of your favorite YouTubers, they kind of do just kind of like the same, not the same look, but they do kind of something that's quite neutral quite safe and not in your face. I think that's kind of in now, but I kind of like doing a mixture of both, but this is kind of just what people are doing on TikTok and what's really in. I moved it down a bit now. Oh, I'm not sure, tummy higher, low, oh, I don't know. I just feel like camera settings and everything's just so confusing. Natasha Denona Bieber palette. I feel like this is one of my favorite soft gun palettes now. This was a black that fell out, but obviously we don't really need that black. Again, I'm gonna go in with the transition color of Buff. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I'm just gonna show you what kind of eye I'm doing. I'm definitely doing like hot orange again, but it's not gonna be as intense. I'm literally gonna go like that and kind of flick it up. Next, I'm going into cocoa, which is kind of like a soft brown. The thing about this palette it, it, from Natasha Denona, it's very, very muted. Like this is such a neutral brown. It's not warm at all, but I love it because it kind of mimics like just shadows. It's such a beautiful palette. I think it's kind of like one of those palettes that are kind of really kind of like looked over because Natasha Denona has so many palettes but I remember seeing Jacket and I used it for a soft glam once so I was like I have this palette and then I found it. I even might buy another one because this one's on its way out because I've had it for so long but this is such a banger. So what I'm doing, I know you guys are gonna ask, so I'm mixing these two browns. So this is Coco, oops, and this is Seed. These two browns are so nice. They're just making such a soft, pretty brown on top of my eyelid and I'm kind of just taking that higher like over my eye fold. And now I'm gonna take a bit of, uh, I'm gonna mix buff, mm, I'm gonna mix buff. I'm gonna mix a tiny bit of buff and freckle because buff is a tiny bit on the milky side, but I'm gonna mix a tiny bit of gray in it, but more freckle, I mean freckle. And then I'm just gonna press that here. I'm kind of do the same thing, like kind of just cut the crease. But I want it to have a bit of 
orange in it because freckles are a tiny bit milky, which is fine. Turn my swag on. I'm gonna use this NYX liner in espresso. It's kind of like a dark brown. Um, normally with these soft glands, people don't really use, um, they use pencil, they mean eyeshadow as liner, but I don't really like that look, so I'm gonna do this. The, okay, these are the eyes. I always need to add lashes and stuff, but you can tell by the difference, so 2021. Um, it's very much soft glam. I did lighter, I did like a bit of a fox side there, just so the eyes really like lifted, elongated, and this is 2016. Very much dramatic, heavy black liner, you know, nothing wrong with it. I think this looks really, really nice. It's, ooh, oh, I really wish I did both eyes because I have this blazer I want to do a shoot with, and this eye would look banging with it. Okay, so it's now time for lashes. Um, Obviously, with 2016, I feel like lashes are just very, just, you either like them or you don't. I love big lashes. Obviously, I love my own. I'm gonna put on my own bad and bougie on the right side because my lashes are just always gonna be in trend and that's how it is, bitch. My lashes are very much like lifted and very much heavy on the outer corner. And these ones that I'm gonna use are just very a fluffy, heavy lash. These are just really, really big. And I think these lashes are really beautiful. Like they look really nice. But again, I do think there's a time and a moment for this kind of lash. I think because does this give me more, not like more nighttime vibes? Hold on, where did that lash go? I'm just gonna put that on there. Boom. Then we have my lashes in Bad and Bougie, which are more of like, as you can see, it's more of like a natural kind of lash. I can't get comfortable in the seat, and let me just place that on there. Don't worry, I'm gonna do a video again all about how to apply lashes for curly lashes, because honestly, it's, it's still like a struggle for me. Okay, so for 2016, I didn't really wear blush, but I, when I did, I don't think I applied it properly because I used to hate blush in 2016. But I'm going with this Cover FX one. Um, as you can see, I just feel like I look so crazy. Like, there are definitely two sides for a different kind of night. I just used to apply blush like that. I don't want to apply it the same way I do it. I used to just bring it down here. Because I used to think, you know, when you smile, obviously when you bring it down, it's just down there, so I'll probably just bring it that. Still looks nice, it really matches the eye just because it does have that kind of warm pink undertone to it. Nothing wrong with it, still looks super pretty, and I think it looks super cohesive. Again, it's not meant to look bad, it's just a different style of makeup. For this side, I'm gonna take this Rare Beauty blusher. I've seen Jackie Anna use this shade, and I remember June, not June, Kim helped me get these um, over here because you can't get Red Beauty in the UK. And I was like, I'm sure I've got this shade and actually had it and I just didn't realise. So this is the most beautiful shade ever. I'm literally gonna place this a tiny bit higher. These are super pigmented so you don't wanna apply too much. I think I'm just gonna use a blender to blend that out. And then I'm just gonna blend these up. You can actually see so much with blush. You can see here it's more higher, here it's lower. So this face just looks more lifted and it's just a bit more softer. Again, I keep having to add bits I'm like, oh my God, no, I would do that in 2016, I keep forgetting. So I added the um, inner corner here because it was all about the inner corner highlight. I just think this eye looks banging now. Again, it was all about the bright under eye in 2016. We wanted that Kim K white under eye. I'm gonna take a Dragon Beauty powder. I love this silver blender. I love this when I go out because I feel like it just makes my face look so sickening. I'm literally just gonna press some under this eye and also take up to the nose to just give it a bit more of a snatch. Again, I still do this step, but again, we're just making this side a tiny bit more brighter and a bit more snatched. <sighs> so if you know me, you would know a highlight was just, I still love highlight. Highlight's my all and be all. Like even though I might not use powder highlight as much, I still use it and then go on with something else. But I'm gonna take the Oma Beauty Coming to America palette this smells amazing and it's just such a beautiful highlight palette. I'm gonna use this shade because I think I used this in another video before and it is, a, it's just, I feel like there's a time and a place but this is beautiful in the eyes. This one's called Zamundian Sun. Oh, I love the name. Ooh, okay. We used to just do a lot of highlight. Like that looks, I'm, I'm living, I'm actually living 2020 side, 2021. I'm gonna take the same highlight, just a tiny bit that back then we're just gonna do a tiny bit there i'd say a tiny bit i mean like the tiniest bit I'm gonna take kevin aquan skin gloss and then we're just gonna press that cream highlight on you kind of lay on you have to press this really like slightly and then bring it all the way up 
and then going with a blender. Obviously, before we do lips, I wouldn't really normally do this, but I do this on the 2021 20, side now, and that's our beauty spot. So I use the Anastasia um, liner. I'm gonna go like that. They don't always come out as perfect, but you know. Okay, so 2016 lips. Okay, we're gonna overline. I'm gonna do 2021 lip, and I think it's just keeping the natural look true, but a bit more rounded for me. Okay, I'm gonna do a liquid lipstick or a lip cream. I'm gonna do NYX Abu Dhabi. I use this colour for a hot moment. Okay, this side I'm gonna do Huda Beauty last night. I'm just gonna press. Then I'm probably gonna go over again with the liner, just so it isn't as over the lip. 2016, I hated gloss. I was all just about the matte lip, but again, 20 sip. 2021, I keep getting confused. I do love a gloss and I do feature gloss here and then. So I'm gonna do, I'm use this Maybelline Lifter Gloss and this is in the shade Stone. These glosses are just as good as the Fenty ones, but banging. So I'm gonna put that over here, period. So this is the finished look guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Like what, what side do you think looks better? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so let's just do a recap. This is the 2016 side. So as you can see, this side is very full coverage. The brow is, she's, she's the brow is done. We've got some strong highlight, but again, it's still nice. We've got a bit of blush, but it's a bit lower down. But very chiseled, the lips just matte. And it's very just, you know, that kind of girl. And then on this side, we have, um, it's more softer. And um, the skin isn't as matte and not heavy, but as full. We have a bit of sheen to the cheek. We have a soft glam. So it's more matte, there's no shimmers. We haven't got any inner pop highlight. We've got brow strokes, which there's a bit more dimension to the skin. We've still got dimension in the lip, but it's a gloss and lipstick. And the skin looks, you can see just, you know, looks very lifted, but which one do you like? It's crazy, in it? I think it's so mad. Like, I definitely would rock each of these looks. Like, I just feel like different strokes to different folks. I'd probably wear this out now to the club or wherever I want to go for at an event. And I'd probably wear this out like, out to the club as well. It just depends on what mood I feel. I don't feel either of them look bad and I, I really still like this kind of brow, but I'm just not used to it again because I kind of like this brow. But there's, there's, there's still a stock, but one isn't as blocky, but you let me guys know if you enjoyed this video. I enjoy, I really enjoyed creating it like. So guys, please let me guys know what side you like. and Please let me know what kind of tips and what kind of things you still do in your makeup in the 2016 and the 2021 side. I love you guys so much. I'll see you on Friday. I don't think there'll be a live super this Friday, but if there is, I'll let you know in the community tab. I hope you guys are having a really, really beautiful week and also happy Easter. Mm -hmm.